Aracha Leon, everybody. Welcome back to my daily Euskera practice. We are continuing to work on vocabulary in preparation for my end of the year quiz in my Basque class. First things first, I need to go back and add something to my um, pages I've already done. So I've already done clothing and let's see, I did some body parts the other day. Um, but I had a question for you guys. I was asking what a parewa is. And let's see, what's your name? And Ushue Allende Urrutia was kind enough to confirm that a parewa is a wrapped skirt that you take to the beach. So like a, a sarong or some sort of wrapped skirt. So first thing I need to do today, we are adding that to the list, wrapped skirt. I don't know how often I'm going to be talking to people about sarongs in Basque, but hey, I mean, summer is coming, it's getting hot, so maybe, maybe. But my plan for today, I want to go back and look at vocabulary from unit two of my class and just confirm that I know people's occupations, professions, because a lot of the examples we use in class have to do with like people's jobs. So. I, th I think I know most of these like pretty solidly, but there's some that I don't visit too often that I'm gonna work on that today. So, got my little booklet, new page, let's go. I'm gonna start with, it's called Lanbideak, jobs. I also wanna let you know, my mom is kind of my biggest fan, really sweet, right? Uh, she watches all of my videos, even when they're honestly a little boring. <laughs> I don't know how interesting it is to watch me study vocabulary, but she watches all the videos and so she heard my call the other day when I said I like to snack when I'm studying Basque, but I had no chocolate in the house. So she got me a box of chocolates. This little note says, Annie, just because, love mom. How cute is she? Ah! So I might have a little chocolate snack here while we're doing our vocabulary. Um, and we are social distancing. Uh, Mom does this thing where she leaves things like on the porch and I'll go pick them up or she'll have Aita drop off things on my porch. And so no contact was made. I haven't been to my mom's house since like, well, since before this all started, March. Um, so hi mom, thanks. Okay, focus though. We really just need to get through some jobs, of course. This is one that I always forget every time I see it come up in readings, which happens all the times. I have a brain fart. You've seen it here on camera. Aranzalea, fisherman. I don't know how many times I need to see this word for it to stick. I also don't know like why it comes up so often in our class material. I guess Basque people eat fish, therefore we talk about fishermen a lot, but I swear to God, like when I was learning Spanish, I feel like we did not talk about pescadores nearly as much as we talk about aranzaleac in my Euskera class. So you know what? I think I'm going to be doing some stick figures today, but mostly this guy, I'm just going to put a fish, just a fish, keep it simple. Fisherman aranzalea, aranzal, aranzalea. Okay, next we have erisain, which is very topical for uh, things happening in the world right now. Gotta honor our nurses, right? Actually, I think here in the US it is uh, nurses week, like nurses appreciation week. So erisain, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little nurse's hat or attempt to with uh, a little red cross. Because if I just put a red cross, I'll probably be like, doctor? Um, but you know what? I know what doctor is, so I'm just going to skip ahead to that and put that right here. Doctor is medico. Thank you. I learned that from my Basque pour les nuls CD set, Basque for dummies. That was one of my favorite words because, well, it was easy to remember because it's very similar to like medicine as a root word. And uh, I really appreciate the accent. The woman would just be like, medicou. It was like the cutest, Frenchiest accent. Um, okay, 
So what do I do to distinguish doctor from nurse? Well, I won't overthink it because I already know the difference, but it's just good to have in the booklet for reference. Um, but yeah, best speakers, multiple people, well, mostly dudes. Best dudes have told me that like the Iparalde, like Frenchy accent that young people have these days, like they've said that the accent's like hot. Like people have told me that accent's like sexy. I'm like, okay, I don't know your life. Um, not that I'm ever gonna have that accent. <laughs> I don't aspire to that, but uh, yeah, just fun fact for you, if you hadn't heard that. Next on the list, policia. Police, oh, okay. I'm I'm, I'm doing good so far. This list, Aranzalea is the only one that's like, oh, what is this? Um, police. What color are your police's uniforms in the Basque Country? I don't know. Here it's blue. So, okay. Uh, oh, gosh. Harakina? Or no, I think my teacher. My teacher's from Gipuzkoa, and she does this thing where she makes like an enye when there's an I before the N. So I think she would pronounce this Araquinha, maybe. Either way, that is a butcher. I know that, like when I, there's a, there's a drawing in my unit of a butcher. So I know that when I see it, but when I just see Araquinha just on the page, I'm like, what? Uh, it would help if I memorized the word for meat, which I know is similar, like hara Gia hara something. Um, so let me put a big old knife next to butcher. <laughs> Dark, um, mostly because I don't know how to draw meat. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, eat it. I'm gonna save that one for later. Let's keep it on a roll with the ones I already know. So I don't have to interrupt my flow by looking words up. So we're gonna go with Irakashlea, teacher. I'm not even gonna draw anything for that. Uh, Kirolaria, athlete, somebody who plays sports. Okay, what else? Um, Medikwa, I got that. Uh, Baseritara, farmer. I only know that because I know Bacheri is a farm. So Bacheri Tara is someone from the farm. Uh, Dendaria, same thing. Dendaria, I know, is a shopkeeper because I know that Denda is a shop. What else is similar? Mm, okay, these ones are getting a little more complex. Um, casetaria, casetaria, oh gosh, I know caseta is like a newspaper or some sort of like journalism related word, um, and the drawing here looks like a newscaster, it's someone interviewing someone in front of a camera, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with that, a newscaster or a journalist. I'm not gonna get too hung up on like literal definitions today. Like if I get generally in the neighborhood of understanding kind of what these words are, like that's fine. That's good enough for me for now. Um, Casetaria, newscaster, what else? We've got a Kale Garbitsailea. Okay, just based on putting those words together, I know that that's a street cleaner. Yeah, like literally that's what that is. Uh, Cale Street, Garbitsailea, cleaner. I know Garbitu is to clean, so street cleaner. Um, okay, we've got some more like construction words. This one I'm gonna have to look up because Igel Cerva, Igel Cerva. Um, gosh, I'm not really good with knowing construction terms in English. It's a picture of a guy like in a workman's jumpsuit next to, I think, a concrete mixer. Mixing concrete. Okay, <laughs> I didn't have too much luck with this dictionary the last few days, but 
I'm gonna give it another chance. Let's see. Let's see. Iger. No, Igel. Gosh, so many words. So many vowels. No. Consonants. See, I tell you, I don't know grammatical terms. So many consonants in a row. Igelzerotza. Masonry plastering. Ilgetzero, mason or bricklayer. God, who even knows what a mason is? Like, to me, mason is an old-timey term for a job that doesn't exist anymore, and now it's people's last names, you know? <laughs> bricklayer, I guess, yeah. Like a stone worker. Bricklayer, like a concrete guy. Okay, I'm going to put bricklayer because mason is not... Some, a term I use. Well, neither is bricklayer, but it's more visual. So let's go with that. Um, what else? We've got... Oh, no. Oh, how did I miss the mechanic? How easy is that? Mechanicaria. I mean, it's got mechanic in the name, so I like that word. Mechanicaria. Mechanic. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to add some color to this page because this is not inspiring. <laughs> but I'm less inclined to do visuals, I guess, in this section because I can I feel like I, I know most of these words. But mm, maybe I should do flashcards to really test myself. Like I say I know these words, but do I? Okay, I then oh I have two a few more. Yeah, there's a few that I skipped because Languilea. Languilea? I don't know where you put the stress on that. Um, it looks it looks like a guy in a jumpsuit and a toolbox. So I think Languilea, like lan is work. So I think Languilea is like a, just like a general term for a worker, like a manual laborer. Yeah, it says laborer, worker. Oh, literally what I just said. Oh, that's so cute. They have like British English definitions and then US definitions. The first one says worker, comma, workman, comma, laborer with a with a L-A-B-O-U-R. Labor. And then it says uh, USA, laborer without the U. I mean, I don't I don't think that was necessary, but <laughs> very uh, descriptive in, in certain areas. Okay. So I'm just going to put worker because laborer is not really a word I use too often. Um, what else? Last, I think, is boticaria. I'm not sure what this is. I probably should have put this actually with the nurse and the uh, doctor on the last page because I think it's a medical job because it looks like someone's sitting behind a desk, but there's like a scale next to them. So, and like something on the desk, maybe a pharmacist or, yeah, I'm guessing pharmacist. Botiquin, first aid kit. Oh, we're getting close. Botica, medicine. So, boticari is a pharmacist or comma druggist. And no, nobody. It says parentheses USA. I don't know anybody in the US who uses that term for a pharmacist, but it's a big country. Maybe somewhere in the US somebody does, but. I'll put pharmacist. Okay, so that's it. That is, that's that's my vocabulary for the day. Great. Um, not too bad. Oh, you know what this calls for? A chocolate. Mmm, this one has nuts in it. I appreciate, my mom knows I like a, milk chocolate so she just got me a whole box of milk chocolate truffles like I don't even need to look and guess what's in it because it's all delicious okay so before I end this video and I'm like woo done for the day I know my vocabulary I'm gonna test myself uh, I'm gonna cover with the lid the Basque side of my list and just read the English words and then try to remember the word in Euskera because Oftentimes, like, these words will come up in readings, and I'll see them, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, I know what that is. Like, I process it, but if the ultimate dream here is to learn how to speak Basque, I feel like I need to practice more 
like the word association like coming out of my mouth you know like I'm learning to process the information but I feel like I need more practice of like not performing but you know what I mean like saying the words anyway focus okay so I will I'll start on the first page mm, it's so hot today and this chocolate is melting in my hand um so I'll go back to the first page because that was so like five minutes ago and I'm gonna do it out of order so I don't have like whatever the memory okay let's go police policia or if we want to go bass police erzainza erzainza yeah it's a mouthful fisherman my favorite aranzal aranzalea fisherman aranzalea nurse erisain got that uh butcher oh here we go Haracaria? Damn. <laughs> Pardon my French. Haraquinha. Okay, okay, so that, is, that teaches me that I know it starts with harak. But it's the ending. I need to get haraquinha. Haraquina. Butcher. Teacher. Irakashlea. Athlete. Kirolaria. Yes. Uh, and then doctor. Save that one for last. Medico. I know that one. Next page. Okay, I didn't see anything. <sighs> Newscaster or journalist? Casetaria? Because I said it had something to do with caseta. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Keep it going. My bricklayer, my mason. I just said a lot of stuff about that. But <laughs> what was the word in best? Mmm. I see the picture from my unit. Starts with an I. Oh man, I lost it already. Hmm. I don't know if my brain, like I just haven't seen this. I think I haven't seen this word often enough for it to sink in. Our example problem, our example sentences talk about doctors and teachers and whatever, but this one. Um. Mason. I'm going to come back to that at the end. Street cleaner. Kale. Garbitsalea. Like Aranzalea. Garbitsalea. Yeah. Mm. Slight different. Aranzalea. Just Alea at the end. This is. Uh, Kale garbitsailea with an I in there. So I don't really understand the difference, but I should remember that there is a difference in the spellings of these words. They're not exactly the same ending. Cool. Uh, mechanic, mechanicaria. Yes. Okay. Uh, worker, languilia. I feel like we've used that word a lot in class. Um, farmer, basharitarra. Shopkeeper, Dandaria. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Oh, pharmacist. Something about bottles. Boticaria. Hey, so then that just leaves me the bricklayer, which was Igel Cerroa. Ooh, this is going to be tough for me to remember how to say and how to spell because do you see this word? Like right here. What is this? What is this spelling? Why do you have an L T S? I mean, it's, it's pretty common in Basque. It's just uh, not a combination of letters I'm used to in English very often, especially in the middle of a word. Okay, so Igelceroa. I'm going to have to work on that one. But otherwise, like, I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm seeing the connection with all these words laid out that a lot of them end in aria or alea or ailea or ilea. And like, but um, yeah, so I'm starting to see... A little bit of a pattern here so hopefully that'll make it easier to remember for my quiz but definitely I'm gonna add this to my revision I, I said I was gonna try to remember to review this every day at breakfast mm, I've only done that one day so far and that was only on the clothing vocabulary but 
but um, I'm gonna keep this where I eat breakfast so that visually I won't be able to avoid it. It's not, I, I won't be able to forget because it'll be in my face. So hopefully that will help me out. So there you go. That is my vocabulary for today. I think uh, I like doing just a little bit of vocabulary every day. This is chill. This is way less stressful than the sentences. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you following along. Hope you learned some words if you're learning. And if you speak Basque, well, I, I don't understand why this is interesting to you, but I'm so happy you're here anyway. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Please don't leave in the comments more vocabulary for me. Like, I'm keeping it focused on what I need to learn for my class right now. Like, I'm not, don't confuse me, please. <laughs> I can't handle it. I mean, I can. I think I can handle it. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of information, especially doing these daily videos, um, doing, yeah, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch more of these daily videos and learn Esquera, the Basque language, along with me, please subscribe to the Hella Basque YouTube channel and click the bell so you get notified every time I post a video straight to your account so you won't miss a thing. And if you want to hang out otherwise, you can catch me on social media at Hellabast on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Quiero arte.